Hi, this week I want to talk to you about financial literacy. And what that means to me is that a lot of the time we focus on how much money we make. A lot of people say these big numbers, oh yeah, I made a million dollars this year or 500,000, whatever that number might be. And that can sound really cool and really enticing, but what's more interesting to me is how much money did you keep, okay? Now there's a couple books that talk about this and one of them is Profit First. And in that book, you kind of really focus on the idea of you want to make sure that you're paying yourself first and you're taking the profits out first and then working your way backwards to make sure that you actually have a profitable business or that you're earning in a profitable margin. Okay. And when people actually take a minute to kind of look back and see, okay, let's weigh our expenses versus the money that we brought in. What are we actually keeping? And then what are we keeping after taxes? Because a lot of people like to say, oh yeah, our net revenue was this much, but what was it after taxes, right? Especially in Canada, we pay heavy taxes a lot of the time, whether it's personal or corporate, and you have to make sure that you're doing everything possible to keep as much money at the end of the day. What do you consider to be a fair profit margin? Is it 20%, 30%, 50%? What kind of margins do you want to work with? How can you cut expenses to make sure that you actually are hitting this or just reset your numbers and your accounting methods to ensure that you're taking profits first and that you still have enough money to pay everything after. Okay. So financial literacy, while it means a lot of things, one of the most important things that I hear people kind of mislead is the whole concept of, Oh, I made this much. And I really want you to focus on how much were you able to keep because by keeping more money, you'll be able to invest more. And by investing more, eventually you won't have to work anymore and you will just do it because you really enjoy what you're doing. Thank you for watching. I want to see you next week.